So we have seen main method. We have create default builder. It uses Kestrel and set the content root path. Now, what is content root path? All my content is in www root folder that I have shown you. All these things are being done by your default builder. And startup class, as I told you, it has configure services method and configure method. We saw that build will make the server ready and run will start listening so we saw the demo for this and we saw a startup class we saw the difference between configure services and configure method it is adding services to i service collection container which will make them available for dependency injection so you can use it anywhere just you can inject that object wherever you want we will see that practically don't worry as of now next configure it is a middleware that is a pipeline to handle requests and responses ordering is important in configure method the order in which we write the methods or configure the things is very important why because your request moves in that order that we have defined there we saw a demo for that as well now we will try to understand how to create a static website so we'll understand the directory structure then we'll design a static website and we'll also see how to set a default startup page now what are the default startup pages just I'm, I'm i'm simulating this i want to show you that the code is available on github you can look into the source code you can see the source code of microsoft.ovin.static file default file default file options i'll just click on this so this is the source code for your .NET Core. You can see that default file names, default.htm, default.html, index.htm, index.html. So these are the default files. So the source code is available. I mean to say the source code is available. You can just look into the code. You want enhance, enhance the code. You can download the code and you want customize or tailor the code. It's everything is open. Now let us see this practically. I'll just remove this service that I have added. I'll also remove this. I don't want to write any text. I will also remove this. I want to do everything from scratch. Everything is empty. Now, first of all, www root is the place where your content resides. Right click, add new item. And I'll go for HTML page and I'll name it as home page home.html and in body I'm going to write h1 tag welcome to the world of .NET Core Save this. Now let me execute this. If I say slash home dot html, I'll say F12. look into the network it says that for not for not found that means my request is passing through this configure so here I should tell them that start using static files this app application builder I'm going to tell app that use static files this line of code will make this accessible now let me execute S slash home dot html now you see that I get welcome to the world of .NET Core. So simple single line of code will make it 
available to access and I'll add another page this time I'll add index.html and here I'll say this is index page as we know very well index page is the default page it should display this it is not displaying why because again I need to tell that in the pipeline app dot use default files and this order is very important first I should say de use default file then I should say use static files if I reverse the order it will not work why because use default file will set the default file then use static file will access that now I should get that index if I want to access home I can access it and if I want to access index separately I can access it but if I want to set home as a startup page then I should I should clear the default file collection that we have seen in our earlier video that is index default all those things I should clear and I should add home and I should pass that as parameter to this so I have that code ready with me so we are going to use the class default file options so you have all the options then file names it is a collection and I'm clearing that I'm removing all the file names then default file option default file names dot add I'm adding home and finally this default file options I'll pass while setting default files now my default page will be home so full control we have full control over each and every page and each and everything so home is the default page if I want to access index I can access that no issues so that's it this is all about your static website in ASP.NET Core thank you very much